Okay, so this is the first time I'm filling you guys in this morning. Uh, today's the first day you need a thermosel. I don't have one with me. Mosquitoes are nuts. But I got on this bird on the game lands. And uh, I got right on the same ridge with him. He flew down, the hen flew down across on the other ridge. He went up to her and now they're heading straight away from me going down that way. So I'm going to make a big loop all the way around and try to get in front of him. He has been gobbling pretty good. He's gobbled probably six or seven times this morning, which is more than all year. Let's make a move. This turkey's gone silent on me, and I'm not going to call to him. I, I, know, uh, I know what calling to him does. So uh, we're just going to hunt this turkey's patterns. I mean, if he gives me seven gobbles tomorrow, there's no reason that I shouldn't be able to kill him. He, he uh, gave me my best opportunity today, or this morning, he gobbled seven or eight times, which is incredible for this turkey. And I got right where I wanted to be on him. I, just a matter of him flying down and walking up, the, walking up that ridge. And it just so happened there's a hen on the opposite ridge. He flew down and he went right to her, but He's making, he's starting to make mistakes. We're gonna get this bird killed here soon.
Well, I uh, just made a stock on a couple long beards. The issue is that this field is privately owned. And I couldn't shoot them out in the field. I had to wait until they got inside the wood line to shoot them. And that one big gobbler walked about 45 yards from me off the edge of the field up here. He would not come in the woods. They're just walking right down the field. But that's what sucks about these, you know, hunting public land next to a bunch of private. You know, there's you're gonna have situations like that where, you know, normally you got a dead bird. Not this time. If I had my fan, I bet you I could have flashed that sucker and he would have came charging right into the woods on it, but I didn't have it with me. And I'm on public land and I don't like that. I'm on a different piece of public now than I was this morning. I was driving all over the county pretty much, checking uh, you know, all the public land and calling and whatnot. And I had seen these birds out in this private field that's bordered by public. And uh, so I went in the backside and got snuck right up here where I thought they were gonna cross the field. Well, they crossed it, and then instead of coming right across, they started going back up the other way. And I was nervous if they were that they were call stride birds, but they're not. I I called to them and they answered and just seemed normal. They can't imagine people aren't in here hunting them, but it was a fun hunt. I got some action there. I wish that field was was uh, public too, but it's what it is. Let's sneak out of here. I gotta get to work. The mosquitoes are bad this morning. Need need my thermosol. I'm gonna go ahead and wrap this morning's video up. Uh, we uh, ended up sneaking out of there. I didn't bump those birds at all. So I got the lead on uh, a couple different public land birds, which is awesome. Absolutely awesome to have those birds uh, pinpointed, know where they're at, have an idea of what they're doing. So I'm really looking forward to tomorrow and uh, Man, if I needed like 10 or 15 more yards for that bird to break the wood line there, then I would have killed him. But I'm not going to shoot him right on the middle of someone's private field. That's not right. So uh, that's just something you run into when you're hunting uh, uh, public land that's surrounded by a lot of private. You know, those birds go right out into that private field and you you got to sit back off the edges and hope that you can bring them into the edge of that woods. As soon as that sucker stepped foot in that woods, I was going to roll him, but... Unfortunately, he didn't. He stayed about 15 yards off the edge and just walked the edge up. But hey, we'll be back after. Thanks for watching, everybody. And huge thanks to uh, all my patrons of the channel. Really appreciate you guys. Have a good one.